to the moon for an update on China's Chang'e 3 lunar mission. The rover and lander have taken photos of each other for the fifth and final time. And the next step is uh, scientific survey and exploration. Clear, complete images of Chang'e 3 lander have been sent back to Earth. And the U-2 rover carries a panoramic camera for real-time video transmission. The camera provides stereo images in high resolution. After one week of silence, the Chinese space agency finally released new pictures of the moon's surface. Since their rover was deployed on the 15th of December, consisting of a couple of snapshots of the rover and the land taken by each other's cameras, and a couple of 90 degrees panoramic snapshots of the landing area, and they claim it's the last time they are making images of their lunar mission available to public. And again, a series of discrepancies in the pictures, strengthen my suspicious, that the Chinese government faked a moon landing. Once again the soil has different colors in each picture, and apparently the patterns of the vehicle's shadows on the ground, seem to have not changed within one week. For instance the shadow of the rover still pointing toward the same direction, although the landscape ahead of the vehicle is different in each picture, what not only diverges from changes on its trajectory, but also from changes in the projected positions of the sun in the lunar sky which can be verified in planetarium programs that allow exploring the surface of other celestial bodies. Although the rover took one picture in front of the lander and another from behind, the direction of its shadow is the same regardless the different positions of the sun along the week, as seen from Sinus Iridium. Even if the lander had been snapped twice in the same day, still its shadow should be seen in opposite sides not in the same side. Such divergences would be solved, if only the Chinese space agency had released 180 degrees panoramic snapshots of the landing site with the sun within the field of view of their cameras, what makes me think on why they didn't. However, one of the images released this weekend, seems to be a dead giveaway pointing out that China's moon landing might as well be fake. A odd detail in the top half of this picture suggesting that this is not a real scene, but a 3D image rendered by a CGI software. A dark grey area between the horizon and the pitch black sky, clearly distinguishable from the light shade of grey of the soil, which in my opinion is either a missing texture in one of the background layers, or perhaps a failure in the final rendering process. Unfortunately still this is not enough evidence to certify a hoax, and the Chinese government stopped releasing public images just in time, to prevent it from being debunked. The mystery remains. The chief commander of the lunar program declared the Chang'e 3 mission a complete success.